Hi, my name is Shai Schmelzer, and in this demonstration, we'll show you how to analyze your code for dependency vulnerabilities using Oracle Visual Builder Studio. The dependency vulnerability analyzer in Visual Builder Studio works both for Java as well as JavaScript and Node.js code. It scans the library that your code depends on and identifies any libraries that have non-vulnerabilities in it and give you a complete report about those libraries and those vulnerabilities. It can then help you resolve those issues, helping you pick up the correct version of libraries that have solutions for those non-vulnerabilities. Let's see a demo. We have here a project that depends on NPM to manage libraries. And we're going to use a build job over here to check for security. So let's go over and configure this build job. Right now, this build job access our Git repository and then executes an NPM install. We can add a step in the before build to execute dependency vulnerability check. Let's enable this step. We can choose the thresholds and the confidence level that we want. And then we can also indicate to fail this build if something happens and also create an issue uh, for any errors that we found. Let's run the build again. can see that the build failed and that we have vulnerabilities. Let's check our vulnerabilities in the current build. From the report, we can see we have one high vulnerability, two mediums, and one low. We can expand to see the specific libraries that have issues. And for each issue, we can see information about the issue, including links to external resources where the detail of the issue, scoring, and other aspects are documented. If there are issues that we want to ignore, we can hit the mute button. We're going to try and resolve the issues. Visual Builder Studio allows us to pick versions of the libraries that have fixes for the issues that we identified, and then create a merge request Merge request is now in the system. Let's look over the our merge request and see what the status is. We have full information about the issues that we're trying to resolve with, we, with this merge request. We can look at the change files um, over here. Basically, we're replacing the libraries with newer versions of the libraries. Um, and we can approve this merge request. And execute the merge itself. Let's go back to our project homepage. We can see the build started again because of our merge that was done into master. Our build now passed successfully. And if we look at the log files, we'll see that there are no vulnerabilities found in this project anymore.